All right, guys, welcome to episode 171 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go over to Patreon, check us out over there, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already, and share with a friend, all right? But uh, we appreciate everybody that's rocking with us. We're back with another one. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? Feeling good, man. Feeling good. We back. We back at it again. You already know what, what time hey, it is, man, bro. Man, round of applause to this guy feeling good because he was feeling like shite last week, bro. This fucking guy. This yeah. guy died for about three days. Yeah, I, I usually, uh, I usually don't get sick, man. You know what I mean? It's just, it's one of those things. It's been a couple years. Yeah. So when facts. that when that bitch hit me, I was like, man, I'm pretty sure I got I got the c word. You know what I mean? But I yeah, don't know. I wasn't. Sure. I'm pretty sure because I don't I don't have taste or smell still. Like still, and I haven't ate a full meal. Like I've been having fucking the poop season. You know what I mean? Because I can't eat a fucking solid meal. That's trash, bro. Yeah, because if I can't taste it, bro, I ordered Chinese food twice, thinking like I could taste it, and it ended up tasting like nothing. Ugh. I almost threw up right now, just thinking about <laughs> this it. Fucking guy. So uh, air makes you gag. Yeah, just thinking <laughs> about it, bro. Like, bro, it doesn't even. Sick as well. Bro, I can't even smell my car freshener in my car. That's like I want to put it up to bro. my nose and I'm like, wow. I looked it up. I'm like, man, when am I gonna get my, my smell back? And they're like, Oh, it takes like like a month. It is gone forever. They say it's that gone some, no, they say like four percent. They say like a whole like a small percentage of people don't don't get it back. And I'm like, bro, if I don't get yeah. it back, I'm gonna I don't know. Hey bro, that sucks for you. Never yeah. taste nothing again. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Remember that, what it used to taste. That's like, like my cousin. My cousin that got into a motorcycle accident, you know, the one with the one arm. He's not, he's not my, my real cousin, but like he's just a family friend that I grew up with. So I just call him my cousin or yeah. my uncle, either one. He's like my uncle slash cousin. <laughs> but he got into a motorcycle accident and he hit his brain so hard that he lost his taste and his smell. Hey, bro. That's crazy to me. That's, now now I feel you, bro. That's horrible. I don't even know how you eat anything. He, I mean, he's like he's alive, bro. At that point, that, that, that shit's minuscule. Trust that's, me, that's man. When you, come, when you come close to dying, bro, like... You rather be alive and not be able to taste nothing than to be dead. <laughs> you yeah, know what the, like, the doctor said he had like not it was less than fifty percent chance of survival. Hey man, doctors don't know what the fuck they be talking about sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes they do. Sometimes it's like, bro, you just taking a guess. Like mm. I remember when my grandpa <laughs> broke his neck, bro, at like seventy something years old. Broke his neck. And the doctor's like, bro, you're never walking again. He was walking like three years later. <laughs> Like for real, like sometimes it's, it's, a it's just a guess, bro. Yeah, it's a practice. Yeah, the li- they just have the license to practice medicine. That's all it is. Yeah, that doesn't mean they know what the fuck they're talking about. That's that's the thing, you know. All these fucking, all these rich people, you know, like famous people, they get different types of doctors. You oh, know, no, what no, I mean, they no, don't they get got, the same. Yeah, they don't get the same get, doctors as us. Nah, we got shite doctors. Bro. We get we the got, ones that are like sketchy. You know what I mean? Like Scheisenheimer doctors. Nah, you know, he got fired from the last hospital. Now he's working here at Avid Health. Dr. Scheisenheimer. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, bro. I don't like doctors, bro. Nah, My mom's like, just like, go. Yeah. You were like, just go to the doctors. I was like. Nah, I told you. I was like, bro, if it gets to that point, go. Like, if it gets bad, bad to where it's like, bro, like, it's bad. Yeah, you should probably go. But I don't know, man. I feel like I had that shit when Toby, shout out to Toby. When he first came back from Vegas, he was dying. Gave it to me. I was dying for like I didn't three get it. days. Yeah, you didn't get it that time, but so I was weird. dead for like three days, bro. And it was like, but I never lost nothing. Like, I just, I was fucked up for three days, though. Like, no energy. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't eat too much. Like, that type of shit. I, I just had real low energy, and I knew I was sick. Yeah. But like, I don't know, man. I've heard some fucking horror stories, bro. It was a different type of sick than when, like, remember when I was sick on your, like, what, 16th birthday or 17th? Yeah, my 18th birthday. That was, shit it, was, was it 18th? Trash, I think yeah. it was. I think it was my 18th. I Some think that was your there. 17th, bro. I don't know. I think it was my 18th, bro. That ass. I don't remember. But, but we were young either way. But, bro, that I remember that day, bro. But it wasn't like that. I was still able to, like... Yeah, but you're young, too, bro. Let's yeah. be real. That was fucking 15 years ago, damn near. Now, <laughs> now it's different. Now it's like, all right, bro. Like, I drink three beers type shit, and I still... And I wake... Like, I wake up the next day, and I feel it. Like, yeah, for real. Bro. Like, dead ass. That's why I stopped drinking, bro. Like, yeah. that shit. Like, for, like, I'll drink, but it'll it'll probably be, like, either a couple beers and that's it, or, like, wine. Mm-hmm. Or may, if I'm going to have hard liquor, it's got to be mixed, and it'll probably be, like, one, maybe two drinks. But I used to go ham, bro. You When we used to go out, bro, it was, like... 
two bottles for the night. Yeah, but they'd all and be it, gone, and it wasn't like the good stuff. It was like yeah, E&J. it was like E and J and shit. I remember when we moved up to Henny. You know what I'm saying? And then we stopped sharing the bottle because it's like man, now nah, this is fifty dollars a bottle yeah, now. This, this, this is a different bottle. You yeah, know what I'm nah, I, I, yeah. And then like we just. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I remember them days, bro. Them days we used to get fucking lit, man. No, nah, I mm. remember doing some stupid shit when I was a teenager. I remember, <laughs> I remember getting some Don Q, bro, and mixing it with homemade like the Kool Aid lemonade. Yeah, as a chaser, and I thought it was good. I thought it was a good idea at fourteen, bro. Oh, I had God. never thrown up. So violently before <laughs> in my fucking life, nigga. I look as Pedro, nigga. I look like Squirtle. I, was like, <laughs> I swear to God, he's like, what the fuck, bro? I was like, yo, I was fucked. Yo, bro. <laughs> yo, it was a work, guys. If you're in high school, don't mix nothing with sugar in it with alcohol. Want, you're gonna fuck yourself. I'm telling you. We need we need Pedro on the show. That guy is a fucking character. That guy's a walking fucking testimony of the dumbest shit on earth, bro. Like he's seen some shit. <laughs> yo, <laughs> I he, swear to God. He fucking posted posted the other day on Facebook. He's like, Sanford, Sanford, Sanford. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I learned a lot. Shout out to <laughs> Sanford, dog. Nah, I tell niggas, I'm like, yo, Sanford's a different city. It's not <laughs> Disney. It's not <laughs> Disney and Sanford, bro. You get taught nah. real quick. You'll learn something. Nah, bro. I got <laughs> robbed there like three times. Bro. bro, me and Miguel were going to lunch one day on our fucking lunch break, bro. And I swear to God, they try to rob us, bro. We're riding, we're riding down the street, and a girl like walked across the street, like, and it, there was like two dudes on each side of the road. And I saw the play. I like swerved out the way real quick, but I was like, I looked at Miguel like, yo, bro, I would have hit that bitch real quick and mm-hmm. shot the nigga on the side of the fucking door. Nah. You crazy as hell, bro. Like that's how it goes down over here, though, bro. You watch out. You think it's just somebody crossing the road, bro. Nah. You stop for him. A nigga run up on you on the window. In Florida and shit, you know what I'm saying? In Florida, you, you're ballsy, bro, because everybody carries a gun. I mean, like, I know a lot of people that don't. Yeah, but they have guns, too. But there's guns, <laughs> like, they have at least a shotgun in the crib, or they got nah, something, facts, they got facts. a big-ass knife or some shit. Like, we carry weapons, oh, yeah. bro. Yeah, now, this is the Wild like, Wild West, though. Like, like yeah, I, like, I would either move, I would move here, I would live here for the rest of my life, or I would move to Texas. Texas is... Bro, the thing about Texas yeah, or is Kentucky. Like, we're all getting overpopulated, bro. Like, have you have you seen I four lately, bro? Yeah, Saxon's the new I four now. Ridiculous, right here. Retarded. That's not even an interstate. That's what I'm saying. Like, <clears throat> it's retarded, bro. So, nah, stay the fuck away from Florida. Nah, stay the fuck away from I Texas. Don't, I don't care. We don't about, need any more people. The thing <laughs> is, is, I don't care about people moving to Florida. It's more of the fact that, like, yo, you trying to bring your type of laws and your type of mentality from that state over here. And it's like we don't we don't do that. Yeah, like, no, this is Florida. So go back to the state like, that you're from. Like we want to carry guns, we want to have the right to carry our guns. It's fucking in our constitutional rights, guys. Like it's what is it, Amendment Two, I think. I hope maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but it's part of our fucking amendments. You know, our right to carry. People just come into our state like, nah, we shouldn't have guns. We'll go back to your other state. Yeah, now go back to New York where y'all just still fucking shooting each other, but you get a life sentence just for having a gun. And let's not even get into New York. You know, I was going to talk about this on the Patreon, but you know what I want to talk about now? Because we're talking about New York. Bro, did you see what happened in Buffalo? No. Bro, 10 people got shot, right? This guy racially... Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Rest in peace to those people, man. That's that's super sad, went. he, He looked up the most, like... That was in Buffalo? Buffalo, New York. Wow. Rest in peace. He looked man. up the area with the most black people popu- mm-hmm. like populated in one area by area code. And he right. went he just went to that one. And then he went to that supermarket and killed as many black people as he could. That's what he said. And he killed ten people and no one had a gun. If this would have happened in Florida, bro, a, lot of, a lot of a lot of lives would have been saved bro. that day. He, he, a lot of lives. Yeah, like I mean, it still happens here, bro. Yeah, it happens. It happens everywhere, and it's it happens and in, in so quick that just you leaving your gun in your car could cost you your life or everybody around them their life. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So that's a sad situation, but it's true. I really hope that that state takes that as a lesson, and they're like, "Yo, like we need to loosen the gun laws here, not tighten them." Yeah, because like, we need to be able to fucking protect ourselves. <clears throat> not one person there had a gun, man. Yeah, or was allowed to have a gun. But nope. he, no did security. he give a fuck? This is what we always say, bro. A person that has malice and has <clears throat> evil in their heart, bro, they're never gonna give a fuck <clears throat> about the law. Like that's for <clears throat> the people that 
do care. are law abiding citizens. You're fucking them over. Because guess what? Little Timmy down the road that wants to shoot up his school, he's going to find a fucking gun, clean or dirty. He don't give a fuck. He's going to use it. You no, know what that, I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's fucked up, man. One of the guys, it's crazy, one bro. of the guys there was like, he's like, my brother, man. You know, he wasn't perfect, but he was changing. You know what I mean? And he was going, he was. He was on his way there to the to that to that grocery store to the bakery to pick up the cake for his son for his birthday. It's always something. And I'm like, like it's damn. Sad, man. He's like, bro, not you know, he had the son right there. Now he, he got to take care of his own. You know what I'm saying? His brother's fucking kid, his nephew and shit. Mm-hmm. You know, he got to explain to him like, yo, bro, like a guy That's came sad, in and fucking man. murked him. I don't know. And, I just the racial thing to me, bro. Like it's it's beyond it's beyond, bro. Like that shit. It's like that happens every day, bro. Racial it does. racism is racism, but. I wouldn't care if those were 10 white people that got killed or 10 Hispanic. Bro, that's 10 lives lost, bro. It's one day. somebody's brother, somebody's mom, somebody's aunt, somebody's uncle, whatever, dad. Like, that shit is sad. A senseless loss of life. For what? Like, do you understand how many generations were changed because of that one instant, like, one situation? Mm Mm-hmm. Generations, bro. And one, and... Like... It's one thing to be like, yo, like, you don't like black people? All right, cool. That's your right, bro. That's cool. That's your right to not like whoever the fuck you don't want to like. But, but for you to go, for you and to kill go them. hurt them and yeah. kill them, it's like, come on, bro. Like, dog, like that. That's ridiculous. Do like the do like the good rich white people and go move to a neighborhood. Go go move somewhere else. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, get away from people. Mm-hmm. Like, go buy your own fucking twenty acre fucking land and never go out of it, so you don't ever have to see <laughs> nobody of color. If that's what you want to do, and you, you know, know like, you know this, like it does happen everywhere, but it's been happening in a lot of like a lot of like democratic states that don't have ca- like carry guns, like people that don't carry guns, mm-hmm. and it's I don't know, it's weird, man. It's weird because you don't hear you don't hear that shit happening in Texas like that. I mean, I've had nah, bro. Texas is different. Matter of fact, know, round of applause to Texas. There was a true story where they killed some guy. They had like a a draw. Uh, a draw Muhammad contest or something and to the Muslims that's like really you're not supposed to do that like they'll kill you over it oh for real so there was some guys that showed up trying to blow some shit up bro and they got killed in the parking lot like think about that real terrorists showed up in Texas to this fucking event to go do some shit to people and these motherfuckers didn't even let them get out the truck hmm that's how you supposed to do that shit nigga you Mm. see a nigga pull up oh wait they got bombs Boom! That's it. You're no, done. A Drop. bomb. Drop. You're not even. You're not even gonna think twice about fucking that name. That shit. A bomb, bro. I remember. It's they, crazy. Bro. I remember they had a threat right here around the corner. In this little corner store we got here around the corner, bro. Yeah. I facts. guess one of the employees was like, "Yo, you fire me." He's like, "Fuck you! I'm gonna blow this bitch up. <laughs> I'm gonna blow this whole place. I'm gonna blow this Dollar General into a fucking mall, bitch. I'm gonna blow this motherfucker up, bro. Nah, yo. But listen, how? How sketchy was the guy that the guy took the fucking call serious? Like he took the threat serious. No, I told him that was the man. Because he was like, "Fuck that!" This nah. <laughs> this little sketchy motherfucker really bullish. Nah, up. for real. And I was like, I was like, "Yo, what happened the other day?" I was just buying my drink, whatever. And I was fucking. I walked up to him. I was like, "Yo, what happened the other day, man?" And I saw all these cops. Like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he says somebody. Some. I had a, a former uh, employee that worked here and shit, and he told me he wanted to, he was gonna blow it up. Yeah. And I said I didn't take it I didn't take no chances There was a backpack In the parking lot I didn't know what was in it Randomly there I don't blame him Nah bro I You gotta take him. shit Like that serious I remember working security We would have situations Like that You find random shit Like you gotta call yeah. Or you see certain things On the camera Like you, I don't you know, work bro. for security. Like, how how shit, was that? It's crazy, bro. Like, there's, uh, bro. It, it was fun, but it, there's days where it's like real shit happens. Like, there was one day there was a kid on the camera. Well, he was a grown ass man, but he like you know, he was sitting on the on the stairs looking down at the at the square, just like going like this, like with his hand though. And I was like, what the fuck? So I called my boss. I'm like, yo, look at this shit. This shit's weird. And he worked for the mayor, guys. Bro, so I go the over there. I, I go over to this nigga. I swear to God, bro. It was like talking to a fucking wall. Like this nigga was like straight face, no emotion. I was like, yo, what's up, bro? He just looked at me. I was like, yo, like you all right? Everything good? He's like, just looking. Not saying a word. So my other boy, Omar, he's like, nah, fuck that. Back up. <laughs> Yo, real time, nah, yeah, yeah, back yeah, up because we go bust this thing right here. Nah, yo, bro, he called, I'm gonna tell you the fuck yo, out of your yo, ass. He called the cops and the cops came, bro. Long story short, bro, 
dude was like, I guess, in the beginning plannings of like, like doing like a mass shooting. Like he was really like the cops looked in his car and shit like that. And they were like, bro, I'm telling you, like he was yeah, pretty man. much planning to go fucking shoot some shit up. And I was just like, bro, that's crazy. Like, imagine we wouldn't have seen that on the camera and he would have came back the next day and there would have been a shooting. What in the would you of the do, though? I mean, like, I know we had conversations Nigga, about in that this. situation. I know- I'm not fucking it. I'm not a I'm, not I didn't go through the bro. I didn't go through the training and take on an active shooter. Situation. Unless, unless he's shooting you. Bro, if he's right there, I'm I'm pulling my gun. If not, bro, I'm telling everybody to get the fuck. And if you don't listen, from and that's the thing, guys. If you're a security officer, you're not you're not legally bound to do shit. You could literally turn around and run the other way. You don't have to play hero, bro. That's not what you get paid to do. Nah, you get you paid to you get paid to inform, like to look at what happened and be like, all right, write a you know you're write writing, a report. You're writing statements down. That's it. Yeah. That's all you're doing. You're not a cop. You're not, and cops used to tell us that. They're like, yo, if someone ever really, they're like, if you can't, my own boss told me that. He's like, yo, if you feel like you can't handle a situation, active shooter runs in here, fully automatic AK, you can't handle that, bro, run. My boss used to tell me that. He's like, I'll come downstairs. He used to be, bro, that nigga was like real military. Like, he had like a vest. He had his AR in the office, like guns. Like, he was like, if something happens, he's like, nigga, I'm coming because I'm trained for this. Yeah. But you run the fuck out the way. Like, that's why. That's how it goes, bro. Yeah, you know, yeah, I would be running the other way too. Bro, people are all just, tough. They'd be like, oh, you should have pulled out. Nigga, you'd run too. Trust nah, me. Nah, if there were shots going off and you don't know where they're coming from, nigga, you're running. You know, it's true though, because it's like one of my buddies, he's like, yo, he's like, bro, you got your pistol, bro. You know what I'm saying? What if really shit goes down? You know what I mean? People would. With automatic weapons That have bro, the you're training gonna, That bro, have the training yeah, And the that's training. the thing You're gonna lose He said your pistol Is not gonna do anything It's not bro you If you don't saying? know how to use it bro Like a pistol could save a, a, could It do could do a lot It could But the thing is Most of us don't have the training Or we don't keep up With the training To really do that shit bro Like that's what, The military That's all they do That's why he told me He's like nigga Like I, ha- I go to the range Like f- four times a week Like I have to Like I have to It's not like I, I need to I have to So they're trained different. Like, yeah, they're trained yeah, yeah. for those situations. They're trained to, you know, shoot this guy, reload magazine, run behind cover, shoot that guy. Like, they know where to go and what to do in the situation while it's going on. Most of us don't. While the shots is going off, we're going to be hiding behind some shit trying not to get hit, not knowing where the fuck to run nothing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is it's true. different, man. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I mean, I really feel like I need to start going to the range more. It's been a while. Nah, we need to take tactical shooting classes, bro. Shout yep. out to Chris. Chris's boy does them right here. Right oh, for here real? in Osteen. Yeah, like, he'll teach you, like, really, like, tactical shooting situations. Like, yo, if some two guys come in this way, you do this, you run behind here, you reload here, you run over there, you shoot, whatever. Like, it, there's actual classes that'll teach you, like, yo, like, mm-hmm. real active shooter situations. You know yeah. what I mean? So... Yeah, because I, I need Going to... Going to the I'll, range is just... Hitting a still a, a still target is different. I shouldn't have got rid of that AR. I regret it. Yeah, I mean, it just it, it if you don't use it, I mean, what you know? But no, I feel like in this time, I don't know. I just don't trust what's going on right now. Like with the whole like, bro. Like, <laughs> I made a post on Facebook the other day. I was like, bro, what happened to all? What happened to all the Biden supporters? I'm not trying to get into the politics again, but like, what happened to all of the Biden supporters that were writing paragraphs under my post? Saying, yo, this is the reason why Biden's better, blah, 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 blah. Bro, I made a post the other day. I was like, what happened to all y'all? No, all y'all, and I checked, all y'all still friends with me. And now it's all quiet. It was a trend. Listen, man. It was a trend to j- j- just go against Trump and, 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 and all this stuff. And yeah, you know what? Trump didn't make the best tweets and stuff like that. But look at the gas prices, bro. Look at the economy. We need somebody that's going to take, take care of the economy. We need to put America first. We're sending all of our money to Ukraine right now. You know that, right? We're sending all of our money to Ukraine right now, but there's women out here that can't even find formula for their, for their kid, for their baby. There's a shortage. That's Listen, weird to man. me, bro. Ultimately, people like Biden because he was the complete opposite of Trump, and he doesn't hurt your feelings. That's all it is. Bro, he literally... He doesn't sh- hurt your feelings, so you think that that's a better candidate, but it's like, bro, look at the facts, look at the numbers. Look at the numbers, bro. Like, while Trump was in office, the gas prices were way lower. There was a lot of things that were way cheaper. Everything was cheaper. You know what I'm saying? Like, and ultimately, to me, that's more important than having somebody that says things that don't offend me. Like, I'd rather go to the store and my fucking 
You know, and my tank milk is be two dollars rather than four dollars. My tank is filled with fifteen. Yeah, exactly. I'd rather fill <laughs> my tank with fifteen than fucking fifty. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Bro, it's, it's like bad. sixty it's, now. Yeah, it's it's up, nigga. It's up, up. It's, and that's for cars that don't even take that much gas. And and you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, shout out to all the hustlers getting it. You know what I mean? Because yeah, regard bro. because regardless, like that shit don't phase us. You know what I'm saying? We hustlers, we get it regardless. But like, imagine the people that ain't hustlers. Imagine the people that ain't really getting it. They just got a regular nine to five job. You know what I'm saying? When I mean hustle, I mean anything, bro. Any type of personal side business that you got going that's lucrative. Yeah, that you're actually making money from. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to y'all. But man, I, I really feel bad for the next two, three years, bro. That's coming up because I'm worried about what's going to happen. Is this going to be a civil war? What happens when people can't afford to, to buy shit? For real. And has anybody thought about that? And listen, man, the poor like, are going to get poor and the rich are going to get richer. You got to pick which side of the fence you're going to be on, bro. And shit's been about the same, bro. It's it always been about the it's same. All, it has. There's always been super rich and super poor. Yeah. But the thing is, America ha- hasn't experienced third world poverty in many places. There are places in, in America that are damn near third world. Don't get me wrong, bro. For real. Like, you go to the projects Detroit and you're like, yo, shit. this is crazy. Yeah. But for the most part, America hasn't experienced that on a broad, you know, like, basis. If it happens here, bro, people are really going to fucking freak out. Like, they're not built mentally. Like, somebody in a third world country that was born there, raised there, and they've raised all their kids there. Yeah. They're like, nigga, this is like life. the hunters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got hunters like, here. We got fishermen. We got people that grow their own food here. No, like, we got people that different. will survive, yeah. but most of us won't. Yeah. Most of us are too conditioned <clears throat> to go to go to Walmart, go to the supermarket, go to McDonald's, <clears throat> go to fucking here, go yeah. wherever. And once all that shit runs out, which people don't understand, that shit will literally run out in like two days. Yeah. If shit hits the fan, trucks stop moving, there's not enough fuel for trucks to move, all this shit happens, it only takes two or three days for everything to be gone. gone. And yeah. then after that, you got to either figure it out, grow some shit. If you, how are you going to... Nigga, you're going to have... What? You're lucky that, like, bro, to the people that don't like fish, <laughs> y'all better like fish. Because we live in Florida, bro. You better I'm going, going fish, I'm man. Going, or, I'm going fishing. Bro. I'm going fishing. I'm going straight to uh, Mosquito Lagoon. You know what I mean? Don't take my spot. I'll fucking shoot you with a bow and arrow. This fucking guy. You know what Everybody's I mean? Everybody's going to be with <laughs> <shit>. Everybody's going to be there. Mosquito Lagoon. Let me write that down. You know what I mean? Nah, but I know a really good spot where I can get huge ass redfish. Bro. Listen, you got to make it do what it do, man. I probably just survive off like fruit and shit. And I know how to gut a fish. I'll go get coconut. I'll go get because people don't understand, bro. You can really make yourself a fruit based diet and survive. Like that's all literally survive. Like, that's all I could taste is fruit. It's so weird, and that makes me think like, all right, so maybe the body, shit, bro. the body, so. the body's calling calling for fruit and shit. That's what it needs, you man. Know? That's where all the real bro fruits, vegetables. Are, like I don't really, I'm not a big fan of vegetables per se, but when it comes to fruits. Bro, I love fruit, man. Like, that shit's good for and I could, you. And I could taste like, it still, which is crazy to me. So I could, like, meat and all this stuff and all this other extra stuff, I try to taste it, and it doesn't taste like anything. But when I went to, to go buy fruit, that's all I could, I'm able to eat because I could taste it still. That's weird to me. That's like, whoa, like, like, that, like hey, man, like, maybe this is what I need to be just eating then, some fruit. Bro, fruit is amazing. I told you, ever since I started doing the fruit smoothie, bro, I have a lot more energy, like natural energy. I don't crash out as much. Like, it, a lot of a lot of good came from it. You know what I'm saying? I sleep better at night. Like, yeah, certain things happen. You know what I mean? That is true, bro. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just got to be that. We got to be healthy, guys. We got to. And you got to try to be healthy, And I was man. talking hella shit about, yo, the C word ain't real, bro. The C word. I still think it's bullshit. You know what? <laughs> you know what I think it is? You know what I think it is? I think that it's just, it's like made, man-made, right? I, so I think it's real. But I feel I feel like it was just an agenda. What, like like it, was, it was a planned agenda to like really like stop the world. Stop like a whole bunch of shit I don't know how to explain it man I just feel like I feel like it was made It was man made Like I feel like it ain't no bullshit And it fucked me up It really <laughs> fucked me up Yo it's crazy how This it nigga was up. talking so much shit and for that, three years and, straight Yo and Kayla fucking and now, came, yeah. Oh fuck that it's real Yeah cause Kay, yo <laughs> Kayla came by yesterday To check up on me she got a new car And stuff and I wanted to see her car You know what I mean Shout out Kayla Yeah and I was like alright that's what's up And she was she watches the podcast 
and I didn't realize she really, really watches it. And a lot of people watch it. You guys just don't tell me. Fuck you guys. That's but love. I know though. you guys. Yeah. Love. But for those of y'all that don't let it be known, fuck off. Yeah, no, no. A lot of people don't <laughs> let it be known because they don't want to admit that they watch us. You know what I mean? But they do. And it's crazy that she's like, yo, it's funny when when you post it on on uh, on the story because I I posted on Dope Talk. I was like, yo, yo, John got COVID. Whatever, you know, mm-hmm. it's gonna resume next Sunday. You know, health over. You know, what I'm saying health over everything. And when she saw that post, she's like, ah, I started laughing because like you were talking so much shit. You were talking so much My shit. My dog said, never me, yeah, never I, never me, never, 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 never die, never. <laughs> you know what nah, I'm saying? I don't know, man. I don't. Like I talk a lot of shit. I don't think it's like I don't think it's bullshit, bullshit for her. I'll just be yeah. talking shit. It's entertainment, guys. I don't think it's bullshit. It's real for sure, but yeah. I just don't think it's as crazy as people it's made man-made, it seem though. to be. It's man made, like for sure. Like if the people that that I know that died from it, they all had pre existing conditions. They were super overweight. They were obese. They had diabetes. They had this or that high blood pressure. They had all these conditions prior. You know what I'm saying? And. That's like if you have a weaker immune system, you're gonna you might die from it because it's a stronger form of the flu. Yeah, but it's like I don't know, bro. Like I said, I had it and I fucking when it first first happened, and then I was good in three days. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, three four days, I was alright. For me, I was out for the count, bro. (laughs) No, 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 I was out for the count for like maybe five six days. Yeah, no, it's the energy level, bro. I'm telling you, that's mainly what happens to you. Like, your energy's just drained. And your body just, like, you just need a rest, bro. You need a rest. You need to lay down. And I, yeah, that, that shit hit me hard, bro. And I was like, bro. <laughs> nah, but listen, round of applause for John being yeah. a COVID survivor. <laughs> I survived, <laughs> survived. baby. Survived. We you know who survive. knows? I might I survive one of the strongest viruses, but I might get hit by a bus. Who fucking knows? That's For fucking real. life, For real, that's life, bro. You could go through the most toughest shit, and then you die the most Facts. stupidest way. You fight off a wolf, and then go back home and fucking fall on a shovel and break your head. You could be a Rolling Thirty Crip, bro. <laughs> Damn, and be, and be, you know, and you could be fucking shooting motherfuckers and killing motherfuckers for like twenty years, and then you fucking just get fucking hit, attacked by a dog or some or shit, or get attacked by a bear. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, people... Nah, real bro, talk, like, people be- you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like Nip, R.I.P. Nip, bro. His, uh, his, tri- his, his trial is about to start June 3rd. His what? His trial. The murder trial. The guy that oh, killed him. Oh, the guy that killed him? Yeah, he's pretty fucked. He was on camera in multiple... You know, he'll, he'll be put away for a minute. But the sad thing is, like, he there's so much idea. death, man. Like, there's so much death around shit. Like, when Nipsey died, that guy's family got hit. Like, his cousin got killed. His brother got killed. Like... It was crazy, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But listen, man. That's how these people do it, I guess. That's how that shit goes, bro. That's how that shit go. But I'll tell you what. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget. Go over to Patreon. Check us out over there. Get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And last but not least, tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.